What's up, everybody? Welcome to the next episode. I, I think it's time to finally... I, th I, th I feel like Brian's going to be at this fair. I have this odd feeling. I don't. I have this weird it's feeling like they that we're save it. I have, I have this feeling we're going to go on a carnival ride with like a specific person, specifically in the form of like a tool created by cavemen. What's that circular object called? A wheel. Uh, why? Why is not the tunnel of love? Oh, because the Chekhov's gun. They've there's no. Us yeah, the there's no. Dude, you can't have a tunnel of love. I guess they haven't established that there's a river here. Although we are in Maple Bay. Yeah. So it's very feasible that there could be a tunnel of love as well. The carnival is packed with people from all over town tonight. Screaming kids run around with cotton candy and buckets of soda clutched in their grubby fist. Colorful lights flash all around us. I feel like just smelling the air will clog my arteries. Hey, let's go over to these greasy food carts first. Yep. The food carts are greasy, but not the food. Amanda leads me by the hand in what seems like a very specific direction. <laughs> I know my favorite one is around here somewhere. Ellipses. <laughs> Wait a second. Is that... Oh... Br Brian! Wow, look who it is! Sure enough, it's Brian and his daughter Daisy. Brian has the same confused look on his face <gasps> that I'm sure I have. They We've set parent trapped! Up. We've been parent trapped! Oh, this is weird. No, I love it. It's so cute. What a coincidence that we all happen to be here at the same time in the same exact place! Wow, this is so weird. Can you believe we just happened to come to the carnival on the same night at the same time? Yes, Daisy. That's so strange. How bizarre. Brian? Billiam? I can feel my competitive fire burning inside me. Oh, that's not competitive, baby. Last we met, Brian had made a fool of me by besting me at fishing and then out humbling me in front of my very own daughter. I still want that pulse song. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Dad phrasing! Wait, wait till we leave, Dad. There's plenty of midway games here, oh. so... Okay. How about we hang out as a team and explore the carnival together? How about your daughters fuck off? How? Yeah, I don't feel like- I don't want you around. Yes, Amanda, that sounds like an amazing idea. Let's all go do stuff together. No, go do stuff. Together. <laughs> you missed the period. Amanda and I follow Brian and Daisy as they lead us towards some rides. Nope! Nope, not doing it. I can't believe Brian's here. Dad, you need to relax. Daisy and I have been spending a lot of time together. She helps me with my, she helps me with my algebra homework and apparently my speaking. And I've been corrupting her young soul with rock and roll music. Don't worry, it's just Christian metal. <laughs> She's really cool, but you and Brian won't stop complaining about each other. Oh, he's competitive with us. Oh, he's complaining about me. Oh, I love this. No, Dad, that's not what I meant. If you and Brian would just talk to each other, maybe you would see you have a lot in common. See, now I gotta turn it up to 11. Brian's getting obliterated. At least a specific part of him. There's another rock reference for the people who get it. Oh. Dad, you have to chill. Please chill, for my sake. I'm chill. I'm so chill. I'm like stupidly chill. <laughs> And once I prove once and for all that I am clearly the better dad, I'll be so chill you could call me liquid fucking nitrogen. I will destroy uh, him. Dad. She heard my inner monologue. Book. I spot the entrance of the midway. A perfect opportunity. I feel like... There's gonna be a lot of minigames. <gasps> and I'm in control. Uh, we're trading. I'm obviously. in control. Hey, Brian, check it out. Wanna get a couple of games in? That sounds fun. Maybe a little friendly competition? Hmm. No, we wanted to check out some clowns over there. Amanda, you're scared of clowns. Overruled. Ugh, <laughs> uh, fine. Sure, let's play some games. But if we spend the whole night in there, I'm filing for emancipation. Emancipation? Oh, lighten up. I'll win you something nice. And I'll win you something nice too, Daisy. I'll win more nice things than Brian. I'd like to see you try. Brian and I glare at each other. Let's do it. Stare at me in my eyes, boy. Mm, read that one. We've been at it for longer than I'd like to admit. Oh, yeah. Amanda and Daisy sigh heavily at each, at each new game Brian and I challenge each other to. Their arms over a bur a, yeah, over a burden with stuffed animals and t-shirts with rainbow airbrushed onto them. For every game I win, Brian seems to answer back. 
Dad, please, enough. Just one last game, honey. Look at all the shirts and shit in my arms. Yeah. So, look at him. So stuffed. We're tied. What's the ultimate prize? Your pole saw. We talked about that. I guess top or bottom. <laughs> I spot it from across the midway. We lock eyes. It swims absentmindedly in a bowl of water. That goldfish <laughs> will be mine. Amanda, sweetie. How about I win you a goldfish? If it'll get us out of here... Sh Great! I look over at Brian. We don't say a word, but our locked eyes confirm it. The person who wins the goldfish wins the night. <laughs> Looks like it's ski ball. You any good? Fuck, here you go. <laughs> I'm, yeah, dude, I love ski ball. Cool. Not my strong suit. Ellipses. I am the best ski ball player to ever grace this earth. Think you can handle me? Still willing to put up your weed whacker? Oh. Only if you're willing to part with that pole saw. Lawn grooming equipment goes to the ski ball champ. We share an earnest shake. Here we go. Oh, here it goes. Ooh, ski, ski that, ball. that ball. Oh, I gotta lean real forward. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, How many balls do I get? Probably nine, right? It's always nine. Oh. Oh, I see. Nice, beautiful. And we can shaboom. If he's the one next to us, we're we're kicking his ass already. And shaboom. Nice. Yeah, baby. All right, baby. All right. Shaboom. We don't need to risk that hundred. We don't. No, need we don't need it. We could probably get that fifty if you. Uh, Perfect. Hold on, Still hold 40. Hold on. I mean. Uh, ooh, oh. I missed it. I, oh, he's. What the hell? Oh, he popped up. He, he Hi, a, Brian. I. No! Shit, what? He got a hundo? I think he. I mean, he had to. Uh, Damn it. I, I gotta quit looking at him. Yeah, focus on you. Oh, is this your last ball? Yeah. No? Ooh, oh, that's nice a 50. 50. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Oh, is it timed? Going, it's keep, timed. Keep going. Oh, I get it now. Oh, my mic's falling. I got you. I got you. Just, hold on. Oh. My, oh, but then I can't see. Um, okay. All right, that. okay. Here we go. We're ski balling. Yeah. I didn't realize this was a time trial. You're losing. I didn't realize it was timed. I thought I just. I thought I had a certain number of balls. You're still. You're still losing. Come on, man. Oh, I'm Come not gonna on. win. Oh, that's not good. I'm not gonna win. I didn't realize it. I nah, beat him in the end. I don't think you got it. <laughs> it didn't matter. The bell sounds and lights flash. It feels like things are moving in slow motion. The guy running the booth points at Brian. My worst nightmare. I fall to my knees, grasping at the dirt between my fingers. How could I let it come to this? Dad, Dad you're making a scene. I am defeated. The attendant reaches up and dumps the goldfish into a plastic baggie. He hands it to Brian. Brian hands the fish to his daughter. This is for you, sweetie. Dad, we don't have the proper resources to take care of this goldfish. <laughs> I think it would be better if it's a peace offering. <laughs> Amanda, do you want this? Amanda, we do not accept gifts from the enemy. That would be lovely. Amanda, no. She places the goldfish in Amanda's hands. Aww. I promise to take care of him to the best of my ability, but you should come and visit and develop a relationship with him. I have a feeling he's going to miss you. Amanda? I think I'll name him... Yeah. Brian. Like daggers through my chest, child. Hey, who wants to check out the Ferris wheel? Oh, there it is. Third act came quick. Yeah, I want to ride the Ferris wheel. Of course. I'll hang out and watch you guys. Still not a fan of carnival rides. I'd be happy to ride some rides with you kids. Fuck it. I'm just kidding. I love carnival rides. Yeah, I'm the best at them. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Fuck ride it. some rides. We traverse the fair and end up at the relatively short line for the Ferris wheel. It doesn't no seem like to ride it. it doesn't seem like a very popular ride. Daisy and Amanda chat excitedly. I can feel Brian glaring at me. So how did you do on the trick final? Way better than I thought I would. Those cosine problems still trip me up, so I drew a cat instead of answering the questions, and my teacher gave me a point for the effort. Oh, that's a good teacher. <laughs> wow, is high school really that easy? Absolutely yes. The school of hard knocks, though, that's another story. Amanda playfully punches Daisy on the arm. Hit her harder. Welcome to the streets. You check out that art book I gave you? Yeah, I love the section on female photographers. You have good taste. You know, I bet your photos will be in a book someday. Mm. Daisy, stop or I'll cry. They're too cute. Stop it! Next! Hey, a new voice. We've never had to do that in a long time. <laughs> Amanda pushes me forward. You first! Ah! Ah! You sit down in the carriage. Ah! And now you... Oh, this is just... 
Parent trapped. Yeah. Daisy pushes Brian into the carriage next to me. Before I could say anything, the ride operator closes the gate. Now wait a second. We're gonna go get some deep fried pickles. You two take this time to work out your differences. Uh -huh. Hold on. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Get along. Amanda and Daisy run off in the crowd. The ride starts moving. So those two. Wow, these are big fucking carriages. Yeah, you could just stand in this shit. I've never. This is not a fair. This is a nice ass fair. I sit in the Ferris. I sit in the Ferris wheel. Oh, that was bad. With my arms crossed, not talking to Brian. I don't even know what Amanda's talking about. Neither do I. Our carriage creeps slowly upward. Ferris wheels are boring. Ellipses. Could this ride go any slower? Oh, is it too fast for you? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Ellipses. Oh, it's awkward. How could this get any worse? Suddenly, the ride jerks to a halt with us at the very top of the wheel. I can hear the faint yell of the ride operator down below. Sorry, folks. Ride stuck. Of course it is. Because Guess a raccoon must have stolen a key component to the motor. They're very crafty animals and are frequently attracted to shiny objects. So it makes sense that they would pill for something like that. Anyway, it'll be some time before we can get y'all down. Settle in and get cozy. Well... And hey! No hand stuff while you're up there! What the- Talking to you, purple Goku motherfucker! <laughs> and no mouth stuff either! Oh my god. Well, this is just great. I'm trapped up here and can't do anything fun. I look down over the expanse of the carnival. I hate to admit it, but it's a pretty good view. I spot someone down at the food cart melting cheese onto a pile of steaming steak and peppers. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Why didn't we get funnel cakes first? My stomach rumbles. Oh, I know that sound. Brian reaches into his cargo shorts and pulls out some fruit leather, offering it to me. Hello. Cherry or mango? I don't want your stupid fruit leather. But it's good. Fruit leather's great. Brian opens one and starts eating it. I have no idea what it is. Uh, they sell them at Aldi's and shit. It's really good. Oh, I've never seen them. Fine. More for me. My what? stomach growls again. God damn it, why didn't I take the foot leather? The foot leather. Foot leather. We sit in silence as the crowd begins to form under us. A group of carnival workers attempt to restart the engine. I suddenly remember that I have a tiny book of word jumbles and a golf pencil in my pocket. I pull them out and start working on a fresh page, determined not to look at Brian. Hey, I always bring a puzzle book with me too. Oh, there it is. Brian pulls out a small book of crossword puzzles and a pen. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I throw my book of word jumbles off the side of the Ferris wheel in a fit of rage. Oh, I bet we could find it when we get off this thing. Here, you can do my crosswords. Brian holds his book and pen out to me with a smile. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh. Why are we such a dick? Why do you hate me so much? Hate you? Why do you think you're better than me? What? I don't think I'm better than you. Oh, okay. So you were just offering me fruit snacks and crosswords out of the kindness of your heart. W yes. <laughs> A likely story. All you do is brag about your smart kid and your landscaping and your stupid weed whacker. I'm sick of it. And all you do is one-up me every chance you get. The only thing I wouldn't win is a one-upping other people competition because you would win that because that's what you do. I... I don't do it on purpose. I'm just better than you. I'm sorry I'm better. Wait. What? You're messing with me. Right? No. But... I don't, I don't think I'm better than you. At all. You and your daughter are amazing. I thought we were competing just for fun at first. But the more we started doing it, the more it felt like you... You must hate me. And the more we did it, the more I wanted to impress you. There were times I did want to beat you, Billiam. But really all I wanted was for you to like me. Oh my god. I feel like such an ass. Be an asshole. I feel I feel, I feel like honesty. I yeah. think I think it's time to lay it all on the table. Yeah, dude, I mean it's the third date. Time sometimes it gets serious on third let's, date. Let's let's be forward, baby. <clears throat> I let my competitive spirit get in the way. Actually, no, I let my own securities get in the way. <gasps> And I've been a huge dick to you for no reason. 
I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you for the <laughs> fucking payoff. We've been screaming it for fucking weeks. Thank you for the payoff. Oh, to tell you the truth, I think we could be really good friends if I could ever make it up to you. I respect you a lot. We sit in silence for a second. Can we start over? He said no hand stuff, though. What do you mean? <laughs> From the beginning. Brian holds out his hand. Hi, I'm Brian. Oh, it's cheesy. I take his hand and shake it vigorously. Hey, Brian. I'm Billiam. It's really nice to meet you. Great shirt. Aw, the continuity. Thanks, Billiam. Brian and I look at each other. We both share a smirk over this silly little game, but it feels good to be on the same side for once. All right, folks, thanks for being patient. Turns out the raccoon didn't steal a part, but was instead still rummaging around the inner workings of the machine. We formed a wary yet mutually beneficial truce. The carriage starts moving and we find ourselves down on dry land in no time. We didn't get the kiss? Are you fucking kidding me? Brian and I wander around for a bit, looking for Daisy and Amanda. You know, getting stuck on that Ferris wheel could have been a lot worse. I'm glad we worked things out. Ah. Me too, buddy. <laughs> Now that that's over with, we can both get home to quietly enjoy our evenings. But first, we need to find your puzzle book. Agreed. <laughs> Dad! Amanda and Daisy run up to us. I think you kids will be pleased to find out that Brian and I have worked out our diff- Dad, that's great and all, but Brian's in trouble. But Brian's right here. The, f the fish, Brian. What? Daisy and I got on the log flume, and when we were going down the hill, Brian just flew right out of the log, and now he's hanging from some pipe on the ride. We have to save him. Oh, it's... But Brian's... The fish! Brian the fish! Oh, right. Come on! When you betrayed me in front of my own enemy. We sprint over to the log flume, spotting Brian the fish stuck up in the rafters of the ride. We'll get you down, little buddy. What rafters? Where? There's a pipe right there. That's the one he's hanging oh, from. Oh, right here? Oh, I see him. How the hell are we going to get him down from... We have to get Brian before the fair closes, or who knows what will happen to him. They'll probably hang there. But the fair closes in ten minutes. I guess we need to hustle, then. What's the plan? Well, well, one ride around the track last 90 seconds. Brian's hanging from a pipe right above the drop, so you have a window of about ten seconds to grab him. <sighs> wow, did you just do all that math in your head? That's really impressive. I... I just counted. That's not impressive. I'm so proud of you, honey. Ellipses, okay. <laughs> that rafter is pretty high up. How are we going to reach him? We all think for a second. I've got it! He's just a fish and fuck it! Brian runs over to the midway, to the last game that we played, and snags the pole from the game attendant they used to grab stuffed animals. I think this will do the trick. Yeah, they just let you do that. Amanda pressed two ticket stubs into my hand. Here, these are our last two tickets. Brian's fate is in your hands now. Oh god. Uh, There's no time. Come on. Oh, he's going to get wet again. This is going to be good. Ooh, wet t-shirt, baby. Brian leads me by the hand <clears> to the entrance <throat> of the log flume, getting there just in the nick of time. Looks like you guys are the last ones. Don't mind this giant pole. We t Sir, that needs to stay in the ride at all times. We take our seats on the slippery vinyl. The ride operator pulls the bar down over our laps. You ready for this? Da -na 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 -na. The logs start drifting down the fake river <laughs> Unnaturally blue water sloshes over the side Choking my shoes, this is gross You know how earlier I said that I was was the best at carnival rides? The ride jerks forward and I yell it out a small yelp <laughs> That might have been <laughs> no, <laughs> an embellishment Our rickety log makes a slow climb up the track for the most grueling minute of my life I see him! Hanging from the rafters just before the drop is our beloved Brian, the fish, not the guy. Are you ready? I don't think I can reach it from where I'm sitting. It's all you, buddy. Brian presses the fishing pole into my hand. Oh god, I don't know if I can do this. Hey, I believe in you. I gulp! Oh man, innuendo. I can do this! Oh, oh no, it's game. It's do you again. want to do it? Do nope, I want to do it? Nope, here you go. Fishing is easy. Oh, it's fishing! Oh, I need it. I need the mouse pad. Oh, is that it? With the precision only attainable from playing midway games at a competitive level, I hook the baggie that contains Brian the fish and place it onto my lap. I fucking did it. That I'm was, better than Brian. That was baby ass cheeks easy. They really you, fed that one to I me. I really don't think you were meant to fail. I grasp the bag firmly. Nice. <laughs> He'll be nice and safe during the. Tr oh god, the drop. <laughs> I momentarily forgot there was a drop. It's a big drop. Oh, it's coming up real fast. Oh, man, it's a big drop. 
Uh, so when I told you that I had sort of over-exaggerated my proficiency with carnival rides, in turns about that I had under-exaggerated just how bad I am with them. I am utterly and completely terrified of carnival rides. <gasps> Brian looks over to me and takes my hand in his. I'm right here. We can do this. We are both going to die. He gives me my hand to squeeze as long as our tips are... <laughs> as our log tips over the edge and flies down the drop. Ah! Not into the mic. God. Okay. I was I was expecting you to scream. <laughs> a wall of water rains down on us. I realize I had my eyes squeeze shut and open them to find Brian still holding my hand. He smiles at me. That wasn't so bad. Told you we would make it. Out. Make out. Make it out. Brian and I walk off the ride and approach Daisy and Amanda. I hand the baggie to Amanda. Brian! Hey. No, the fish. Aww. I mean, hey, thanks for saving the fish. Don't thank me. That was all your dad. Aw, shucks. It was a team effort. Yeah. yeah, you all used your special skills to get him back. Brian got the pole. Uh, thank you. Daisy did the math, and you got the fish. Oh, Amanda was useless. I didn't do anything cool. Well, honey, I'm sure you... Hey, what were you guys doing up there? That was totally dangerous. Amanda steps in front of all of us and plants her feet. Listen, dude, it might have been totally dangerous, but I'll have you know that we triumphed over more than just your silly rules today. We overcame adversity through teamwork and friendship and love. Captain Planet, motherfucker. We banded together to achieve a common goal, and here we stand, stronger than the sum of our parts. And for you to... I actually don't care. The fair is closing. Just get out of here. The ride operator wanders off. <laughs> you really are a sparkling conversationalist. We join the crowd of fair goers, slowly ambling back to the parking lot. <laughs> you kids want to stick around for the fireworks? Oh, there's fucking fireworks? <gasps> oh, there's fireworks. Oh, this is what uh, do we have to? <laughs> 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 I have never seen a child less enthusiastic about fireworks. Yeah, can we just go home? I, uh, we've been hauling all these prizes around for hours. My all back is killing me. You kids run ahead. <gasps> we'll catch up with you later tonight. Oh, yeah, we will. Oh, Amanda and Daisy skip along. We'll probably find them later curled up on my couch and watching long-haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers. <gasps> Brian and I sit down on a bench a little further away from the rest of the crowd. We've all gathered to watch the fireworks. Hell of a day, huh? You can say that again. Hell of a day, huh? I knew it. Uh, I was going to do the joke, and I was like, you know what? I bet Brian will tie in here. Ellipses. This is the one time I will let you outdad me. <laughs> huh, I'll take it. I breathe in the cool night air as the first firework launches and explodes in the sky over the fair. I'm glad we talked about all of that stuff. Me too. It's good to have a friend like you, Brian. Those aren't fireworks. Those are gunshots. We got to get out of here, Billiam. <laughs> I know the difference. <laughs> the fireworks launch into full swing, bursting around us in a rainbow of reds, greens, blues, and whites. There's one more thing I have to admit, though. What's that? I don't know anything about fishing. Brian bursts out laughing. Oh, ho, ho, buddy. I know. Wh what? You knew the whole time? I mean, you weren't exactly subtle about it. I can feel myself blushing. He laughs again. Ah, it's okay. It was cute. If you're interested, maybe I could teach you sometime. That's what friends do, right? Ah. The laughter dies down and we watch the fireworks a little longer. I can tell he wants to say something, but he's having trouble getting it out. You know, it's kind of funny. What is? We're not fighting anymore, but I still feel we've left some stuff uh, unresolved. Oh, lawn mowing is still happening. We're oh cool now, but don't think I forgot about that. Brian laughs. <laughs> no, it's not that. Don't you feel there's maybe something else here? There it is. Or is it just me? Looking at Brian, his smile illuminated by the crackling embers of falling through the night sky, I suddenly understand what he's talking about. Oh! This whole time, with emotions running so high, I realized that I've really been feeling. What I thought was jealousy was actually... It's... It's not just you. Brian inches towards me. Oh, boy. You know, it's hard paying attention to the fireworks when you're right here. Oh, boy. He and I lean in and our lips touch. He places one hand on my shoulder, oh, then another at me. the base of my neck, oh, it's, gently pulling it's me closer warm. to him in a warm embrace. I feel... Safe. Are you safe? I'm always safe. All right, Brian. I feel safe. 
Brian pulls away from me for a moment and smiles. I guess now we get to oh, compete over who's better at kissing. <laughs> Brian stifles a laugh and pulls me in for another. I'll accept that challenge. We got him! Ooh, we got to kiss! Sure enough, when I get home, Amanda and Daisy are passed out on the sofa, surrounded by giant stuffed animals. Amanda snoring drowns out the paranormal ice road truckers still playing on TV. I turn everything off and throw a couple of blankets over the kids before heading to bed myself. Dead tip number 33, the, kid, the solo from Kid Charlemagne. This mic stand sucks. It, yes, it keeps getting knocked over. Wow, look at, those rac look at the raccoon score. Thank you, raccoons. Wow, we suck. Only B. Wow, it's, it's, uh, I could have done better. I'll admit, I could have done better. All right, we got a kiss. I mean, how? Oh, we got soft, soft boy. boy. Do what you love and money will come. Hey. And if you have enough money, you will come. <laughs> Woo, I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, got to act natural. Be cool, Billiam. Be cool. Amanda walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Something fishy? Rats. Mmm, I think... Sorry, sweetie, it's the feds. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Boop. The life of crime is finally catching up to you. I tried to send him in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power of the funding of the U.S. government. Unless it's a COVID-related emergency. Well, if they think they're going to take me alive, they got another thing coming. I'm kidding. You're right. I have a little surprise for you. Yeah, I can tell. You're very bad at lying. Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Ooh, is it another cake? Father, it would fill my heart with glee. I lead Amanda over to the kitchen table, where a present lies covered under a tablecloth. It's nothing special, but I wanted you. I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a dig big deal about it, but don't, don't you say it. I didn't say anything. Aw, oh, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table and Amanda's jaw drops. No way. I figure you probably won't be able to get cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be a nice to take a piece of home with you. A DVD box set of Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers? This is all 19 seasons. Holy fuck. And bonus material, including oh commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. Dad, I love this. Thank you. She gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin or something? Totally, I guess. I follow Amanda to the back door. Hey! <laughs> hey! End game! Yeah, resolve. Wh what? Why is this guy here? We met him in a store once. We only seen him in a store once. I think he was at one of... He was at, he was at a cookout, but again, that was we, really it. we chose to eat a yeah. burger instead of talk to him. Yeah. You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this one... Because, ah, so consider this your graduation party. <laughs> Surprise. We, mm. We've been doing this a lot. Dad, everyone's here. Well, yeah. Everyone wanted to come and support you. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is. Fully customizable down to the type of mac. And there's an ice cream cake, that kind with a good... <laughs> The good kind with crunchies in the middle. Yeah, and the I kind know with that good crunchies. I know exactly what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, me too. That shit's delicious. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, all right? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. I'm gonna fucking cry. I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. I had mac and cheese for lunch. I would like mac and cheese. Hey, bro. Bro. This is a real rager. Taking our older age into consideration... I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch intake. You know, I'm really glad we're bros again. Let's hit the gym sometime soon, huh? No, sure thing, dude. Oh, we're we just going to make our rounds through all the dads Is now? it just saying goodbye and then we get to like walk off into the sunset with Brian? Briar and Hazel peek out behind Craig. Hi, little ones. Oh, which one was which? Oh, okay, so... Hello! No, that was... Oh, okay. She was the high-voiced one. Hello! Hiya! <laughs> Thank you for all that ice cream cake! Wait, girls, how much of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. No, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we look alike. I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'll... I'll let you guys figure this out. Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang soon, yeah? Totally. Tell Dude. Amanda congrats for us. 
uh, I, again, can you tell Dr. we didn't Mons. like pay attention to a lot of it? Yeah, looks, th- looks like you've settled into this neighborhood quite nicely. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better cul-de-sac. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully we'll see you more at church events. We've nope. got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year. We're actually bringing a few metal bands in. <laughs> sure thing, Joseph. A wink. And maybe if you're not doing anything later, we could hang out sometime? No. Sure, Joseph. That'd be great. <laughs> Welps, I'll see you later. Hugo comes up to me with a big plate of mac and cheese. I'm sorry, buddy. You are the one that got away. <laughs> the perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Billiam. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she's turned it around for finals. Me too. That scholarship money will really help. And Amanda walks by and pretends to not see Hugo really, really fast. That was super fast. Like, zoom. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Hey. Congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great things at art school. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Pew-pew. Thanks. Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. What the fuck was with that F? You no longer hold power over me. You're right. Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm going to break anything I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ellipses. Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Nope. Oh. And I'll have you know that the globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place, so... Joke's on you, kiddo. She'll fit right into college just fine. Hey. Hey. Ellipses. Yep. Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yep. You could have had more fresh fruit, though. Like things I could fit in my claws. See you later. Oh, what was Matt's voice? Cool, jazzy. Hey, I thought that was Hugo's voice. No, Hugo was supposed to be professory and teacher. Mm, prof- like, oh, was he Tiberius? Yes, I believe he oh, was Oh, shit. Oh, dub this over all of his last lines. Hey, man. Oh, my God. Matt. Now I've lost it. Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of grateful banana bread ready for her. <laughs> my God. Thank you. Oh, no, she'll love that, except she won't get... What in the fuck? Uh, what? Did he have a kid we didn't know? I guess. Uh, I, I had that exact same belt in high school, though. What a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This icebox cake, ice box cake is divine. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. Oh, my God. Thanks for coming by. Please leave. I see Daisy and Amanda in a corner of the party and walk up to them. That's how Amanda went so fast earlier. She hitched a ride on Lucian. I swear, if you two are planning another parent trap... Oh, he called it out. He did. Relax, Dad. We already won the game. We're just having a friendly chat. Tell me more about college. Slow down, kiddo. You're not even in middle school yet. But I want to go to class in my PJs now. I mean, nothing's stopping you. But Daisy, I hear you. I know you're stoked on college and skipping grades and taking over the world with science, but you gotta enjoy being a kid first. Growing up is weird and scary, and eventually you'll be able to rent a car, but you gotta get through middle school in one piece first. Yeah, you just skip everything else. It's fucking middle school rent a car. You know how you wish you were going to college? You also can't rent a car until you're like, what, 25? 26, I think. You know how you wish you were going to college? I wish I was in fifth grade. I want recess and snack time back. Cherish it while it lasts, girl. I do too. You got a big future ahead of you, but I don't want you growing up too fast on us, all right? All right, I'm so happy that she's teaching life lessons, I guess. If you keep smacking that bottle, I'm going to ram it up your asshole. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> it's going to come through in the recording. It's not going to come through in the recording. She approved him wrong. I ease away slowly. Amanda seems like she has a handle on the situation. As the Wow. Ooh. Time change. As the party see, starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting, and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So, I, uh, I also have something for you. For me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's been times in my life where you were my only friend. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this. And I'm ready. 
I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry, don't cry. I swear to God, Brilliant, if you cry again. You're the best, comma, dad. I love you. And I'm crying. Anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. Present time! A man hands me a tiny wrap package. I tear the wrapping off to find... A framed picture of me and Amanda. It's us. Kind of shocking all of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figured we needed at least one together before I leave. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been one of the happiest experiences of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. Always do. Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Oh, I'm going to break so much stuff. Intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably going to have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. Amanda hops up. Looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. I glance over <gasps> at the back of the yard where Brian is sitting on the bench beneath our cherry blossom tree. He smiles at me. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> me and the Emma's are going to go get ice cream. <laughs> Love you, Pops. She actually said that was, it was. Right. You can't deny that one. You can't deny me that one. Amanda runs off to join her friends. Ooh. I take a seat next to Brian as the last guests make their way out of the party. Nice job. I couldn't have thrown a better party myself. I smile. No, you absolutely fucking couldn't. Oh, dude, we could have done a little tunnel of love right here in our backyard. So are we doing, like, opposite competition now? Yeah, we're just going to compliment each other relentlessly. I bet you could do more push-ups than me. Look at that fucking butt. I bet you're better with computers than I am. I bet you could trim a tree faster than I could. I bet you could de-ice a sidewalk more thoroughly than me. Ellipses. I don't know how to de- I like this a lot better. Brian blushes. I nestle myself into the soft space between Brian's shoulder and chest. No matter how many times he washes that shirt, I bet he'll never get the smell of campfire out of it. Not that I mind. Got a long summer coming. You interested in some more fishing trips with me? Daisy and Amanda? I, I thought there was a period. <laughs> as long as you'll save me again if I fall into the water. I'd be happy to. Gotta sneak in as much... Ah, what? Gotta sneak in as much father and daughter time as possible before Amanda heads out. Also be careful, she's probably going to try to steal your dog and take him with her to college. I also get the feeling Daisy might try to stow away in her suitcase, so watch out for that. The sunset casts a pink glow over everything, and a calm quiet seems to descend upon my backyard. It reminds me of the lake. I'm glad we're not rivals anymore. Me too. Although I don't think I've ever been more productive than I was when I was trying to one-up you. Ha! Huh. Maybe a little friendly competition is what we both needed. I sigh and nuzzle against Brian a little harder. I am the cuddle champion. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dad tip number 87, spend less money than you make. Duh. Is that it? That's yeah! it! Yeah! Holy shit! We beat a dating sim! Dude, and we got Brian. And we got the one that we said we were going to get. Yeah, we knew it from the... Uh, what we knew it from did the we dog. meet Brian? Oh, it was like was the first it? one. Because it was the dog. Damn. Oh, and there's that goddamn music. <laughs> Yo, they got Erica Ishii? I didn't know that. But Brian Wecht? How did Brian not play Brian? Damn. <laughs> I feel robbed. I feel like you have made a mistake. But shit, this was a great game. I, uh... I didn't think I would... I don't think this is a game I would have fun with if I wasn't playing it with you, though. Aww. Like this. Oh, is this where we put the competition to this the side is, and oh we fall in love God. with each yeah, other? Yeah, let's go fuck each other. Um, oh. <laughs> no, I was going to say, like, I could not just sit down and play this game on my own, like, just reading. No, no, I could not I, I don't think I could do that, but, like, actually sharing this game with somebody else and enjoying it, kind of like I would a movie. It's kind of like, it was, it was like reading a book alongside somebody. And it was fun, and I appreciated it. It was it was good. I like the story. I'm gonna told. miss it. I wanna. Well, if you missed it, we could go back and try to find the horror ending. I think, on honest to God, I would rather just play a different like story game like this. I think there. I think there's other really cool stories to be told. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they've never my type, but if people enjoy it, I'm I'm willing to try out some other ones. Yeah, if there's a if there's a really good, not necessarily a dating sim, but like, we could do all Doki of the audio Doki. just cut out. We could do Doki Doki. 
I have never played Doki Doki, but I do know I know the twist behind it. Uh, like I know it's not as fun. I don't know the ending, but I, I I know some of the things that happen in it. Um, but if there's one that you know, drop it in the comments. We'll we'll give it a look and see if any of them tickles our fancies. Um, Are you happy sure... we picked Brian? <laughs> Did you think we should have went on at least one date with Damien? Are you a part of the wrong group that thinks that? You can let us know that in the comments too. However, you can only do it after you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you always know when we are uploading new content, new Let's Plays, new podcasts, new live action shit. We also stream every single Tuesday on Twitch at Salty Entertainment Fun Time. I'm sorry, at twitch.tv backslash Salty Entertainment Fun Time. And throw, go ahead and throw that diet up there one more time. Yeah, throw a diet right above the game grumps. Yeah. Just big blue diet as it scrolls up. Thank you much. We'll, oh, there uh, it is. Aww. We're the best. Do we? I feel like we click. I can't believe we're, we're the best dad ever. <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm glad we didn't end the... I'm sorry for all of you who skipped the credits. You're missing the behind the scenes this shit. This is the best, yeah. Give me more. I want to know what the glamour shots of all the dads were. We could look them up. But that's it. And here's the here's the intro screen again. We don't know what's going to replace this just, yet. But, it should um, just be all Brian. <laughs> Just a wall of Brian. <laughs> All right, guys, we've taken enough of your time. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.